does that feel? Awesome. It feels great. We hung in there all day. My team gave me a really fast truck. I feel like we just need to do a little bit of tweaking on it during the race, and we had the opportunity to keep working on it, keep making it better and more to my liking as the track was changing, rubber was getting laid down, uh, as the lines were changing throughout the race. So I was super, super happy with how it turned out. Glad we hung in there all day. There's a lot of big ones that we had to avoid, and we were able to make it through all of them based on really smart decisions. So I ended up fifth. I'm a great day. <laughs> Especially that last one, what did you see uh, from your windshield? Honestly, couldn't see a whole lot. I was more so looking out my right side as much as I could because I was in the grass, saved it, got straightened up, got put in the grass again, and somehow ended up straight past the finish line. Don't know how I was. Um, but at the end, at, uh, there was, there's so much happening. I think too much to like take it all in at the moment. Uh, just trying to get to the finish and get past as many people as I could. A lot of controversy on social media with Haley not getting good finishes. Oh, she doesn't belong here. So what does this finish, this top five result, what does this mean for you? What does this mean for women in motorsports? Yeah, I mean, I think racing, no matter what, has bad days and good days. And you're going to have a lot more bad days and good days. There's one guy that wins, and there's all of us down pit road that don't. So uh, there's one winner out of this. And you do everything you can to be that one winner every so often. But just, just keep pushing, keep chipping away at it. And I think that we were getting the ball rolling in this season and getting some tracks we were lifting a little bit more than others and I think that's going to really help us a lot. We started out a little bit slower this race just because of qualifying and not qualifying that great which I got pretty free in qualifying. Uh, probably tried to carry too much speed down to the bottom but uh, I just really wanted to keep this momentum going so we were able to pop off a couple good finishes last race, a couple races, keep a clean truck, be able to work on them and make them better and not having to rebuild them. What did you think of the Arca style pit stops? Ah man, I think it depends. It depends like what kind of day you have on pit road. Because some days you'll have really, really good days on pit road where you're making up a bunch of spots. Uh, and then there's other days where you're losing spots on pit road. So I think there's, it probably changed compared to everyone's decision uh, on, their, on how they pre cruise during that race. But for me, I thought it kept it. Uh, it is a different thing. And I I mean, if we can finish fifth out of every single one of those races, I'm, I'm fine with it. <laughs> and you grew up on dirt. So you're going dirt racing mm -hmm. next week. You looking yeah. forward to that? Oh yeah, for sure. I think I'm really looking forward to it because of the fact that my crew chief has a really good truck whenever he goes there so Ben obviously has done great there and I think we're going to hopefully do really good. <laughs> you said it was fun today what was what was uh what was fun about it? I think it's fun when you finish good I think that's what makes it fun because I could have ended up in that wreck at the end and probably wouldn't have been fun <laughs> so I think it's where you finish. How important was it to just stay patient? A lot of cautions today a lot of a lot of things going on how important was it to just keep your head together and uh keep your head down and keep them moving forward. Yeah, I think it's being smart is the biggest thing. Knowing who's in front of you, knowing kind of what happened the last restart, what you think's gonna happen, and just kind of knowing the history of every driver, kind of anticipating what's gonna happen on restarts. So I just tried to make the best decisions possible. We were talking so much up till we'd go green. I, uh, just about which lane we were gonna be in, who was in front of us. Okay, if this person's here, we wanna be here. Like trying to strategize it as much as we could so we made the smartest decisions possible. So kind of the next uh, uh, thing in maybe development, the process of development is learning all that stuff, learning who goes where and who does what and figuring out what's going on with everybody else besides just yourself. Yeah, I think that's one of the easier parts. I think going fast yourself is the harder part because there's so many good drivers out here, so many good racers and so competitive deep in the field. So, yeah. right. Thanks. Bye -bye. Hi, this is Steven Stumpf. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, check out the two videos beside me, and for more racing content, visit frontstretch.com.